to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, it's for all those F1 motorsport and the motorsport engineers. Because today is a motorsport challenge. We are going to talk about design of experiments. This is sort of a personal crusade of mine. I've been trying to find out, probably for 20 years, I've been trying to talk to people in Formula One, sometimes I've been trying to talk to people in motorsport. Do you use this technique? Do you use design of experiments? And every time I've asked the question, I get a sense that the motorsport people haven't got a clue what DOE is, which is incredible. Especially these boys, they tend to think of themselves just around the same level, just around the same level as NASA. So come on folks, we're all locked down. Got a chance to learn, a chance to debate. I want to know about design of experiments in motorsport. It doesn't have to be these folks, I don't expect them to answer. Um, here's the deal, you are trying to optimize your system. Your system is your car. You are twiddling around with various settings to make the car go the fastest it possibly can on the individual racetrack that you are taking your car to. And here's the question, how do you do it? What is the fastest way to find the best settings for your car? I would say this is the fastest way. Now, some of you are going to say, well, what do you know about cars, Paul? I don't know anything. I don't know anything about motorsport. I don't know anything about cars and optimizing cars. Why would I know the fastest way to do it? Because this is the fastest way to optimize any system. Now, you're going to tell me, yep, I've been in motorsport for 50 years. I know how to optimize a car because I've got loads of skill. Okay, really. Let's think about the challenge now. Let's think about the variables. What have you got? Well, you've often got two drivers, three types of tyres. You've often got, let's say, tire pressure. What else could you have here? If you've got wings on the car, you've got the rear wing angle. You've got the front wing angle. And by the way, I'm guessing these variables, I don't expect to get all these right, I'm sure you can think of your own variables that you go twiddling about with on your car every weekend. So we've got one, two, three, four, four we've got five so far. Um, what else might we have? Suspension settings. Put a T in there. And I'm gonna say suspension, I'm gonna call it suspension force, could be suspension height. Not really sure, I don't know how you, what you mess with on your car. On a Formula One car, I don't know, side pod, size, now I am guessing. Um, and what else might we have? I don't know, gear ratio. Now look, these are fixed. Two drivers, three tyre types. Tyre pressure though, well, we could have, we could be on a scale here. There could be 10 different tyre pressures we might use. There might be 10 different settings for the, for the angle. 
front and rear, suspension force, I might have 10 settings, side pod size, well maybe I'll change it by 10 millimeters, gear ratio, maybe there's three different gear ratios you have. Now here's the question, all you specialists out there, when you go to the track on the weekend, what test do you do to find the best settings for that weekend, for that track? Because here's the point, look, multiply it up folks, 2 by 3 is 6, times 10, 60, times 10, 600, 6,000, 600,000, 6 million, times 9, what's that, 6 million, 18 million, there you go. When you go to the track on the weekend, You've got 18 million choices in front of you. You have a limited amount of testing time and you've got to find the best settings. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a DOE. And here's the point. In 18 million combinations, all I need to figure this out is 18 flying laps. By the way, it's the right tests, the right 18 laps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test these in the right combinations to get the maximum amount of information from the minimum amount of data. I'm gonna do 18 tests. In fact, here's the test pattern I would do. And you can see the pattern, you test testing the tire pressures and the tires in different combinations but they are the only tests I need to do to find the answer to that problem. And I can do that even though I know nothing about your car. Now here's the question. Why can't you do that? Why can't you do this? I'm going to find the best settings every time, by the way. That's the power of design of experiments. Now every time I've asked the motorsport profession, do you use design of experiments? I get the most stupid answers back. Nobody wants to tell me. But folks, if you don't use DOE, you're missing a trick. You can go from the back of the grid to the front of the grid because you can understand your car better than anybody on the track. Now then, here's the challenge to all your all these motorsport guys who think they're they you know their experience can do this. Okay. You tell me how you do it. You tell me how you do it with 18 flying laps. And by the way, I can do this to any system. So if you look at this system here, look, which is all about understanding, um, oops, all about understanding blood. Look at this example. There are seven, there are seven variables in this. By the way, I can understand this system as well. I don't need to be talking about motorsport. Using DOE, I can understand any system. I can understand how the engine works, how the suspension works, how the car performs together. I can use DOE to understand my car in the most thorough and deep fashion. But you tell me, if I give you a different problem, how are you going to interrogate it? Tell me what your system is if you don't use design of experiments. And if you want to know more about design of experiments, Drop me a line and we'll talk about it. My name is Paul Allen. You can get me at Paul Allen at allenp.co.uk. It's time for us all to learn. I want to learn more while I'm in this lockdown. Tell me how you optimize your car in the motorsport world if you don't use design of experiments. Because what I believe, fellas, that's the fastest way to find out. It's the best technique you can use, and I wanna know if you're using it, because you folks are supposed to be the best in the world. So come on, take the challenge. How do you optimize your car? Let's hear from you, send me a message, or if you wanna know about DOE, buy my book, Design of Experiments,
for 21st century engineers. Fellas in motorsport, I look forward to hearing from you soon.